What's going on everybody? It's Brett Proangel bringing you today another deck profile. Today we're here with Mike Thompson. How you doing, man? Not too bad of myself. I'm all right. What are you on today? Uh, so for the tournament today, I decided that I was actually going to play uh, Magic Key. Um, it's one of the new set or archetypes out of uh, Dawn of Majesty. Uh, I haven't really seen a whole lot of people playing it. I know it becomes like really good after uh, Burst of Destiny, oh, but like after Burst of Destiny, we also get the uh, Sword Souls and we get the the Wing Beast deck. So like this deck's just gonna yeah, Flunderies, thank you. So this deck just gets outshadowed hard by that. But I don't know. I kind of wanted to play it. I, I, I like the concept behind it and their vanilla monsters. And, yeah. Which is super fair. I'm sure a lot of people will really appreciate it because you know not everybody wants. To to play like you know tri brigade or dry tron you know like yeah everybody seems to be getting kids. bored of the format so like it just this i don't know this seemed like it was fun and i enjoyed playing it tonight i didn't do as great as i wanted to i, went, I ended up going 2-2 but i mean it was still pretty good uh, my losses tonight were literally tri brigade and uh Dytron. i just didn't open well enough and then in the Dytron matchup in the game three i actually misplayed and i should have ended on a negation and i just didn't and if i'd ended on a negation i probably would have been in a better state i don't know if i'd have won the game but, I but if i know you you're a good deck builder so yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and see the spice that you're cooking up so we played three of the vanillas oh yeah um, and then the last vanilla I play is Angel Trumpeter. I have to say, these cards look really awesome. Yeah, the only reason you play this is because it's a tuner, and it's a it's a target you can special summon off of uh, Unexpected Die. So, like, I have a bunch of uh, one-card starters um, in the deck as well to get to, to Hulk, and uh, if they ash those cards, then you can still do uh, summon this off Unexpected Die, plus that other extender, make the Hulk play, and keep going. So, <clears throat> uh, for the Magic Heat Rituals, I played two of the Beto Blaster, and then one of the big guy. Uh, I don't like this at any more than one. And this card, I, when I was testing it online, this card at three just bricked way too much. Uh, I thought it was just better if I just played it as a two of. Um, for the starters, I played the Diviner. She's pretty. She is. I only played two because I only had access to two. And I, there's a couple cards in the deck I would change and to play the third if I can get one. So, uh, And then the other starter I played was the... Uh, more of a Scorpio, <clears throat> and then unfortunately with the with the Scorpio, you got to play the Cobra. So um, this gets you to your Insta Fusion, or um, I'm also playing another tech that I tried out tonight in case I like hard drew the Insta Fusion with this stuff. So like I'll get later into that. Uh, for the fairies, I actually played the two Herald and the uh, one Eva. Mm, love to see it. And then the two big bricks of the whole deck, uh, Colt Wing and Despot. Uh, this came in clutch tonight. Like, weirdly enough, a lot of people were hitting this death spot more than they were stopping the initial combo because this just prevented me from getting into a lot of my uh, ritual plays and stuff like that. Um, and then for the rest of the monsters, I just played uh, hand traps, which um, I played the three gamma, the driver, and then uh, three ash. Uh, after testing and after playing the day as much as I did, I actually just don't like this card. Um, it just didn't do enough. Like, people weren't stopping uh, the unexpected dies, the terraformings, or even uh, the advanced ritual art or anything like that. Like, they were always just hitting the Hulk or they were hitting um, the Aurora Dawn, so. What would you play instead of Gamma? Instead of Gamma, I'd probably put in Bells or I'd probably more extenders like stuff to try to facilitate more play um after playing this today the deck kind of just has a one linear play where it tries to go into the despot plays to try to climb into uh, more of the extra decks that way you can go into more herald plays to search out your beto blasters and stuff mm -hmm. um if you want i can give you a combo tutorial later yeah sure that did be perfect uh, and then for the magic key spells i played three three world and I only played two of the, uh, I'm not even trying to say this card. <laughs> meth, meth <a> meth <laughs> meth yeah. It's on meth. <laughs> it's on meth. <laughs> um, for the last bit of cards I played, I played Instafusion. Uh, the one tech I was trying out tonight was Refusion. Uh, and I'll explain this later when I get to the extra deck. Uh, I tried this card out tonight too, which was High Ritual Art. Because if you hard draw any of your, uh, 
your vanillas, you can hide ritual art and then uh, summon oh, the Beto Blaster or yeah. even your um, uh, your glass gla or clear glasser from your deck for free. Interesting. Uh, unfortunately, it shuffles it back during your opponent's end phase, but like this never came up tonight, so I just I think I'll end up cutting it because it's not as good. So, um, and then obviously the blowout card is called by the grave. Sure. And, uh, um, for the last card I played in the whole deck was Magic Key Unlock. So this card is just a spell or trap negation, but it also has the second effect where after you activate it, you can turn all the all uh, attributes on the field to one typing or one attribute. That's so actually it, not bad. It helps you play around stuff like Super Poly and stuff like that. So that's pretty spicy. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's the main deck. I knew you were cooking up something, man. Dude, I've been working on this for a hot minute. Mm, uh, after Burst of Destiny, this deck becomes so much better because you get a, a, a level 4 extender tuner. And it like is a wolf bark, effectively, so it just brings back stuff. Um, Interesting. So then for the extra deck, I played the one Link, Link Spider, Cross Sheep, which uh, this comes up in the combo with the, um, the Predator Plant. <clears throat> So this makes it really easy to combo into stuff. 100% thought you were going into how against me. I was like, wait, <laughs> cross <-y?" laughs> Gotta make the cute one before I make the ugly one. So uh, <laughs> double how Yeah, I know one's ulti, one's not. <laughs> Sue me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sue me. Uh, the Aurora Dawn. Uh, I didn't need the second one tonight, but there was times where I wish I actually had played it. Uh, instead, I played a Nightmare Unicorn and the access code instead. This comes up. It came up way more than this did, but this has actually uh, made a few games where like making this was so much easier and I didn't have to waste this where I go from this to this and then these into the Hulk and then Hulk into this and it was just like a full circle so I didn't have to worry about it so makes a lot of and then uh, for the synchros I played double herald um, the Quandex F.A. Dawn Dragster uh, that dragster Boral. came up today comes up a lot actually um, Boral Savage Crystal uh, the one fusion. Uh, so the thing that's nice about this is that if you you insta fusion it out, if you've already used your spell card, uh, this adds back that uh, your method T or however you say it. This adds back that spell card, and then if you refusion it, uh, it just becomes an extender because it's a tuner. So like this was actually really good. And then the last last card in the extra deck I played was uh, Dagesto Emerald because you can go make double herald, make the emerald detach with the emerald. And instead of actually shuffling back, you just summon your uh, trumpeter from graveyard to extend farther because he's also a tuner. So that's so spicy. I like it. Yeah, there's a lot of synergy here, and it's a lot of strong stuff. But like, unfortunately, just a lot of people were seeing the, uh, the, the big choke point, and uh, if I didn't open the right extenders, I couldn't keep going. So um, I'd probably change it a little bit, but not much. Like this was a flex spot and this was a flex spot i didn't actually make the link spider all that much today either but it's there just in case it really does seem like consistent too though it was it was super consistent i just bricks are bricks you run into them yeah. um for uh, the side deck i played double droll for the tribe or the ditron matchup double bell for the <laughs> tri brigade and then um, double Ryzen because I don't like Dragoon. <laughs> Dragoon's just a pain in the ass, and honestly, I'm just ready for that card to go. I'm with you on that. Um, and then for the spell cards, I played double Lightning Storm and the Duster, and then three Dark Roller and a more. Uh, weirdly enough, these just never came in tonight. I didn't see a, ever a point that I needed them. And then the last three cards I played were Order and Double Anti Spell because uh, this is good against Striker. It's good against a lot of the stuff right now in the meta. So Anti Spell kind of nice. I like it. I've always played it since like <laughs> Dragon Link was first big. So yeah. But, yeah, that's it. Yeah, man. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to see something you know nice like different um it, the combo was kind of nuts uh, yeah. we, we can get into that in a little bit if you want yep. um but yeah thanks for the profile any Problem. last words you'd like to say um no not not offhand all right man. hey i'll see you in the next one all right everybody we are back with a combo tutorial from yours truly mike thompson so it's on magic key the deck profile and so what are we cooking up here? All right, so I'm gonna show like a basic combo if you open, so like if you open this and ter or terraforming is kind of does the same thing for you, but it's pretty cool. So um, well, mainly, uh, mainly you're gonna do it like kind of like this. Uh, you don't, 
Uh, yeah, I'll just kind of show it. You have to have a, an additional card in hand, so you're going to have like two other cards that are super relevant. So I'll just, yeah, two blank cards. Um, one of these has to be a mon or it doesn't have to be a monster or anything else because you're going to search a monster. But uh, first off, you're going to start off with Unexpected Die. Unexpected Die goes and gets you the Angel Trumpeter. So that's going to go to your, uh, wherever. You're going to activate Magic Key World. Uh, Magic Key World is going to search you. This guy. Alright, you can search either one. You can search this guy or you can search a ritual, but like I'm gonna search this guy because this guy's irrelevant right now. So you're gonna go normal summon this. Discard the uh, magic key. This guy summons Cobra. Cobra effect. Search Institution. So right now your hand is Institution and two blanks. Uh, the reason you need the, the other two blanks is because you're going to go Magic Key World Effect. You're going to put one back on the bottom of your deck, and you're going to search left T. Hmm. These two, you're going to link these two off. Yeah, right, so you're gonna make cross sheet. So, name wasn't good. D -draw so now you're gonna go. Oh shit, Mario! Um, you're gonna go into the fusion. I guess my broken is on a different screen. Summon this. Uh, the reason you do the unexpected die into the trumpeter is in case like you get hand trapped or something. Um, but right here. Oh wait, no. Actually, you hold on. Hold on to the institution. I'm sorry. You actually activate Muff T here and send uh, this and another guy from deck. Uh, another villain. So you hold on to the instant fusion. Yeah, the instant fusion is probably not going to get used here. Actually, if anything, uh, you could probably actually just search the refusion, which is kind of better. But um, so this is going to go to graveyard. So what's going to happen here is it's going to be channeling one, channeling two, uh, channeling two. You're going to summon back the trumpeter, and then this is going to add this back to your hand. So now you have that. Um, so then you're going to keep either one of these two, it doesn't matter which. I usually like to keep the fusion because he's kind of cool. So you link these two off. You make Hulk Boy. Hey, there he is. Hulk Boy summons everybody's fan favorite, Despot. Yay! I <laughs> love him! <laughs> Gotta love to see it. Link these two off. Mm -hmm. I wish. The Alti gets two tuners, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Uh, so you're going to activate the effect of that. You're going to summon three tokens. Trigger the effect of Despot. Despot summons. So now you're going to link or sync off the Despot and the token. And you're going to make the first Herald. So now your Herald's here. You're going to take these two. Sink these two off. And make Crystal Wing. So now everything else is pretty clear. Like, you're not going to get and everything else. So you're going to activate Aurora Dawn, trading the two tokens. Aha. Uh -huh. Summon the Colt Wing. Colt Wing's effect. Summon the two tokens back. And then 0 uh, 1. Oh, we're ordering? Yeah, I got you if you get the tap done. So then you use this and this. You're not going to want to get two tattoos in the same way. This I will. Alright. This is spicy. Sink these two. See, so you don't want instant fusion to an extender right here. Yeah, so instant fusion can be used for that. Or you can, like I said, you can actually search the refusion here. The refusion probably would have been better because then it gives you another extender. But for the most part, right here, you're just going to make this. Uh, oh wow, I'm actually really dumb here. I actually forgot to trigger the, uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Guys, arc. So yeah, My bad, I was thinking too far ahead. No, you're totally fine. Here. Trigger the arc. a lot to the combo. Yeah, so you trigger the arc, and then you search, uh, Beto Blaster first. So then you make the Quandex here, and then you activate Mefti again, because this is not once per turn, and you control a, a normal monster, effectively, and you can send for Beto Blaster. So... So now you send from deck another vanilla, which I should have pulled out earlier. That's my mom. But. So you send another one. So now you use this, uh, either one of these because they're both tuners. And you can trigger this and either search this or you can search the uh, counter trap. Either one's fine. Two options because these are usually your two best options. Um, so now you, this isn't great. You can take this and the last token. You can make awesome. F.A. Dawn Dragster, ah. and then you take the Colt Wing and the last tuner, and make Savage, Savage Effect. Uh, you're going to actually leave the Hulk Engrave, 
and I actually attach the crawl sheet. The reason you do that is because like later on if you, so if you opened another uh, like ARA or anything like that to summon this guy, you um, can actually summon this dude and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six different, or well five, sorry. Uh, there's no ash, so. But you have five different uh, attributes in Graveyard, so this guy get an additional 1,500 on top of his 2,000. He's also in the gate. So oh, wow. depending on how your hand looks, you can end on this, or you can just end on just this basic three. Still pretty good. I mean, FA, this is essentially spell trap negation, right? Omni negate, spell trap negation, monster negation. And then a and solemn then, judgment, basically. Yeah, if you draw this, but this card's only active if you control one of the rituals or one of the... Uh, so actually here would have probably been way better if you actually searched the refusion because you could have went uh, refusion off of the guy. You could have activated the refusion and summoned back your uh, level four which then also makes your trap live because it's a monster that was uh, special summon out from the extra card. So. I feel like the, a monster, a magic key monster. It's very hard to play through that too. Special summon out so. It's like, not only do you have an Omni negate, but it's like, oh, you know, I activate my spell card, negate. Yep. Try to activate a monster, negate. Yep. And you have Savage, like, oh man, that's, and you got follow-up. Yep. So, I mean, I don't know, that's, your graveyard's loaded. Seems pretty solid. If you draw that IO, you just win. <laughs> really though. <laughs> But yeah, man, um, so definitely thanks for the combo. No problem. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would really appreciate seeing this because a lot of people have no idea what this does but might be curious to see, you know, how to play it, yeah. how this can be ran, you know, because we've been seeing a lot of these cards like Magic Key, and, you know. Yeah, there's so many of these, like, archetypes that are just getting outshadowed by, like, decks that, you know, people are just playing over and over and over again. And, like, that's why I sat down and played this tonight, because I was, like, I'm just kind of bored. Like, I own Tri Brigade, I own Dragon Link, I own pretty much everything in this game. I just, I don't know, I sat down and I was like, I want to play something fun. And this was actually a real joy to play, and it puts up nice boards, and it's kind of hard to play through. So. Absolutely. Yeah, man, thanks for showing the combo tutorial. See you in the next one. Later, guys.